Hi, today we will animate a line drawing with an arrowhead turning towards the moving direction. As always we create a fusion composition and open it in the fusion page. Add a background from the toolbar to the node editor. For easy node arrangement, right click the node editor and enable the to grid option. Connect the background to the media out node, change background to transparent by setting the alpha to zero in the inspector. Drag the paint tool from the toolbar over to the connection line, release the button when the line is highlighted, which will add a paint node automatically to the processing tree. We can enable the single viewer mode for more working space. In the viewer toolbar, select polyline stroke and draw a path. For this demo, I changed the brush type to solid circular. In the inspector of the paint node, go to the modifiers tab. Open the Stroke Control section, make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. Enable the keyframes for right on, move the end slider to the beginning so that the line disappears. Move the playhead to the end of the clip, move the right on slider so that the line is fully drawn. Play the clip, and we now have an animated self-drawing line. Next we will attach an arrowhead to the line. Add a text node from the toolbar to the editor. Merge it with the paint node by dragging the output to the paint node output. Go to the inspector, in the text input field, press and hold Alt key, and type 16 in the number pad of your keyboard. Here are some symbols commonly used and their Alt codes. If your keyboard doesn't have a number pad, you can use a Windows app called Character Map, where you can find the arrow symbol to copy, and paste to the text input. If the text font doesn't support this symbol, you will see a square box in the viewer. In this demo I change the text font to Courier New, which gives us a nice solid arrowhead. Go to the Layout tab, change the layout type to Path. In the bottom, right-click the Shape Animation label, remove the existing text path, so that we can link the text layout path to the same path the line is using. Right-click again to open the context menu, the Connect to Item is now enabled but there is nothing available yet. Select the paint node, go to the inspector, inside the modifiers tab, at the bottom of stroke control section, right click the shape animation label, choose publish in the context menu. And we see a polyline modifier is added. Select the text node and go to the inspector. In the layout tab, right click the bottom shape label, select the connect to, now we have the polyline available for selection. Connect the text path to the polyline and adjust the position on path, we can see the arrowhead is moving along the same path as the line. Here we notice the arrowhead is a bit off the line center. We can adjust the text size in the transform tab to fix this. Next we will animate the arrowhead. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Set the value to zero as the beginning position of the animation. Enable the keyframe for position on path. Move the playhead to the end of the clip. Set the value to one, which is the end of the path. Go to the beginning, play the clip, and we have made a line drawing with a turning arrowhead. If you want to smooth the line, select the paint node, and in the viewer, select a control point, Click the smooth icon in the toolbar to auto smooth the curve. Or select multiple control points and click the smooth icon to smooth all selected points. You can also adjust the curve manually by dragging the handles if you like. As the arrowhead is a text symbol, we can easily adjust the attributes to get the style we want, like changing the color, adding a border, etc. We can also use different symbols for the arrowhead, like this one. If you want to reverse the moving direction, we can change the keyframe values. Select the paint node, go to the first keyframe, in the modifiers tab, change the right on to hide the line on the right side. Select the text node, in the layout tab, change beginning position on path to 1, and end position to 0. And also we need to flip the arrowhead. In the Transform tab, set Rotation Y to 180 to flip the arrow. Play the clip, 
and the arrow line is reversed and moving from right to left. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.